today is day 28. Today is trust your intuition. So this one is one of those things where regardless of the day that you're doing it on, it is going to feel like a challenge because it feels like, so what, what am I trusting my intuition on? So today I'm asking you to really be in your experience. There's many times as women, uh, specifically Black women, we are um, challenged to believe in ourselves around what we feel or what we think. And today I'm asking you to literally sit in not what you are logically thinking is the right choice, but really asking yourself, what do you feel you want to do today? What is your experience in this moment moment telling you would be the successful thing that you want for yourself to do? And so I know that there might be an area in your life that you've been thinking, you know, I want to go left or I want to go right. I want to, I want to start. I mean, we talked about this the other day, and I think literally we talked about what I need to get done, what I've always wanted to start, what I've always wanted to do. Like, you know, I wanted to go back to school. I wanted to start the business. I wanted, to, we've talked about some things over this month that have been about what I may have regrets in, what I may have not done for myself. Really in this moment, I want you to trust your intuition. Beginning today, I want you to really just start to think about that small thing that you have stopped hearing the signs around. Instead of thinking about what's right or wrong, I want you to really just think about what you feel and what you want for yourself. Which option would you want and what feels, what do you feel is best for you? Listen to the answer and not what you think is logical. Don't waste your time around trying to figure out what others would think about it, what is the pros and cons, but literally thinking in this moment, what feels like my experience would be best. What what feels right to me? And I want you to really kind of think about what that feeling would be and try to act on it. So for example, if I'm thinking about starting a business and I say to myself, I want to start my business next week, start it. I'm feeling like I want to start moving towards divorce. Start moving towards divorce. I don't think that this is working out any longer at this job. Start looking for a new job. I've done all I could to make this friendship work. Start ending the relationship. Start thinking and stop trying to logic it and start knowing that what your intuition is telling you has some weight and some value, even if you don't make an immediate move that something about what your intuition and in this moment, there is something about that intuition that has some justification. Now, and I'm not asking you to take a moment, I'm mean, take a movement in this moment, but I am asking you in the journal to really literally reflect. So today's is going to trust your intuition is really about today we're going to reflect. Why do I, why am I struggling to trust myself? Where is the struggle? What is the logic in the situation that I'm trying to justify? Like, what is the situation that I'm trying to justify with logically, or excuse me, fight with logically, right? Am I trying to figure out the logic in the best way out of this? And so really today, in terms of experience and in terms of trusting our intuition as Black women, I want us to just hear our inner voice from a perspective of trusting it versus always dishonoring it and thinking somehow it has no place up against logic. Be well.